Hi, I'm Rodrigo Andrade, and in this video, I walk you through what's an XBI business user experience. You will learn how to ask a question, how to disambiguate, how to validate the answer using our AI explainability, how to use what's an XBI metrics carousel, how to pin or unpin a chart, and of course, I will show different examples of questions to let you know the kind of questions that you can ask to what's an XBI. So, let's start. Before we start the demo, let me introduce you Watson XBI main screen. When you access Watson XBI, you have a welcome message, also some suggestions of questions that you can ask. In your left side, you have all the history of your previous conversations, and on the top you have a metrics carousel with metrics that are important to your business and you want to follow. If you click in one of these metrics, you have access to an augmented vision with some natural language insights about this metric, a chart that you can interact with, and also suggestions of questions specific about this metric. One important aspect of Watson XBI is that different from other BI solutions, we don't expect our business users will know where the data lives. So you don't need to select the data source before ask a question. However, you can narrow down the scope of the conversation if you want. In my case, I have several projects, so I will select just one to this demo. For this video, let's consider that I work in a commercial bank and I'm in the middle of a business review meeting. So to begin with, I will ask what is the best selling product category in the first semester of 2025? This is really important to help me to understand what is working, who is driving performance and where improvement is needed. Mortgage is my best performing product. Now, I will ask a follow-up question. Which region contributes most to mortgage sales in this first semester of 2025? Note that I ask it in a different way. I ask it 8 to 1 2025 period. And what's on XBI will understand what I'm talking about. Here's my answer. Southwest is my best region in mortgage sales. So now I'm curious. I want to know how other regions are performing as well. I will ask, create a chart showing mortgage sales by region in 8-1-2025. In this way, I can understand regional strengths and potential growth areas. And what's on XBI? as I requested, generated a chart to me. And this chart not only confirms which region leads, but also highlights where we may have market potential or underpenetration today, like Great Lakes, for example. I can also view insights in natural language explaining this answer to me. I have two options to see that. And I really like this chart. I believe I can pin that to my carousel to always follow these metrics as well. I could click in pin if I want, but I believe I should change the name of the chart before pin that to my metrics carousel. I can do that using natural language as well. So I will ask, change the title of this chart to mortgage sales by region. Let me take the chance to explain that all metrics in my metrics carousel can be pinned by me or by the company data analyst. If the data analyst knows a metric that can be useful or mandatory for my role in the company, they can also create this metric and pin to my carousel. After a few seconds, this metric is now in my carousel. If I click in this metric, I have the augmented vision as I showed before. Now that I know that Southwest is the best region, I want to zoom in a little. So I will ask which brand had the highest sales of mortgages in the Southwest region. Maybe we can replicate some strategies of this branch across the company, right? And here's my answer. Now I know which brand is leading in Southwest mortgage sales. I believe 
I want to identify who is my rock star. So I will ask who is the top performing employee in this branch for mortgage. This is also a good strategy, right? If I identify who is the person, I can maybe use this information to guide the training or replication strategies as well. And Victor Lopes is my rock star. Alone, he generated over half of his branch mortgage sales. Now, to wrap up this section, I want to zoom back out and see who our top mortgage performers, not only in Southwest, but in a national level. So, I will ask in the top five across all brands of the country. Something important to highlight is that all the answers generated by Watson XBI are generated based on your company data. Your single source of truth are the metrics created and curated by your company data team and then published in a centralized metrics catalog. And here I have my top five employees. And I can see something really interesting here. Southwest has the best mortgage sales performance, but probably more is spread across branches than other regions. I'm saying that because if you look to this first guy, Oscar Oscott, alone he has more mortgage sales than the best branch of Southwest. And it's now a good opportunity to show you how transparent Watson XBI can be. For all answers generated by Watson XBI, you have the chance to show AI steps. You can see how Watson XBI interpreted your question. And this is a good example. I asked in the top five across all branches of the country and look how Watson XBI interpreted the question. I can also see the search that was used to generate the answer, and I can see the entire SQL that was used to generate that answer. And here I have the chance of this big weight. So if for some reason Watson XBI select the wrong column or measure, I can edit that. So in this example, if I click in edit, I can just to give an example, uncheck sales amount and say that I'm talking about top performing based on customer satisfaction. I just need to click and then click and ask it again. So it's really simple to disambiguate as well. Okay, now that we have wrap up our analysis, I want to shift the focus. Um, I could continue in the same conversation, Fred, but for clarity and organization, I'm going to rename this analysis as Mortgage Performance H1 and I will start a new conversation with a new focus, with a new topic. I will again select my project because I want to narrow down the scope of my conversation. But again, this is not mandatory. And I will start asking what impact sales. So in this next analysis, I want to investigate what is holding back our sales and also where we had untapped opportunities. So I will use Watson XBI to run a key driver analysis to understand which factors most impacted our sales performance. For this key driver's analysis, Watson XBI will bring a natural language explanation and also an spiral chart. So it's really clear that our top line performance is heavily concentrated in just a couple of product categories. But I'm also interested in those long tail products that are underperforming, especially insurance in this case. So I will ask how did our insurance products perform in A21 2025. This will give me an idea about how the insurance category across all the insurance products are impacting my sales in this first semester. And here I have my answer split by quarter and I can see that it's a really small contribution relative to the total, right? I also have some insights, but now let me go a little deeper. I will ask, break it down by insurance products. I want to know how each product is performing since the overall result is not good. So it's really clear that 
home and health insurance are leading and it's also clear which ones we need to make a better job. Another thing that I'm curious is to know which market channel is working better for insurance. So I'm, this is what I'm asking now. What was the most successful marketing channel for our insurance products in the first semester? It maybe can give me an idea to, to know where I should invest more, right? I can improve my performance in this way. Call center was the best one. And this tells us that human assisted selling works better than digital only for insurance, at least for our example here. And this is where opportunity meets insight. In this video, you saw some examples of how easy it is to extract valuable information for your data. You don't need to be a data specialist. You just need to ask your BI questions and receive answers that you can really trust. This is all for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.